welcome to my house my humble abode thank you so much for having us over sadan pleasure is mine what will you have coffee should i make coffee for yes, you yes coffee should be great yeah. thank you Are you more of a tea or a coffee person? Depends on the mood and the timing. Actually, uh, okay. mornings it's coffee usually, right? And uh, evenings Thank are you. chai, chai time. Ah, so tell us a little bit about this space. Oh, uh, when did you move in here? And I believe this is your second home. This is my second home. I uh, stay with my family, but uh, this is more like an extension of me. Uh, this is where I chill, I write, I have my meetings, and I yeah, I also party a lot here. <laughs> and i paint as well right yeah so can you tell us a little bit about your childhood so i moved here when i was 5 uh, um i grew up in a city called balia all i can remember was my first 5 years where i used to go to the ram leela i used mm-hmm. to uh, uh, play around in the fields uh, i had a horse uh, because in balia there is a, a cattle fest called dadri mela which is asia's largest cattle fest so i got uh, because i was pampered a lot so i got my uh, uh, baba my grandfather to uh, get me a horse and uh, i was i think 3 or 4 years old so my dadi went mad and she's like he'll get hurt he'll get injured go and return it back so i had the horse for 2 days uh and i was uh, i remember walking uh, you know riding the horse around uh, with munna bhaiya who was the caretaker of the house he used to like uh, you know for those 2 days i was just roaming around and showing off Uh, to my friends then when we shifted here to bombay i mean that was a huge cultural shock for me so when we were moving here i refused to board the train so they had to send munna bhaiya uh, with along with me and i think uh, the second or the third day when i was sleeping he left and i have cried all day that day but eventually i think i kind of adjusted because bombay har kisi ki jagah hoti hai it accepts you with a warm hug so yeah and it has totally accepted you and how Yeah. Right. Yeah. Tell me, what were your college days like, Sadan? Ah, uh, college days were fun, uh, and also not fun because I was doing chartered accountancy. I had opted for uh, a CPT uh, right after twelfth, and then uh, it was uh, studying for like hours and hours, CPT and then IPCC. So I think I've almost missed my college life. Then after having completed and cleared your CA exam, you decided to be an actor. Yeah. How did your parents react to that? They were quite uh, confused, uh, as if like <laughs> because I cleared my exams, uh, I cleared my IPCC, my CA final was due, but they supported me. I was also doing theatre, so I called them for one of my plays, and that's when when I won that play, that's when he said, "Kia, yeah, go try." your luck in this industry that's nice that they supported you through it not many people get that kind of support i would like to think yeah it was tough uh, it was a very risky decision uh, this wouldn't have worked out uh, in my head i thought i would go back but i i don't think i would have gone back uh, doing my ca finals so i think my ca finals are due but i plan to only and only uh, uh, attempt it uh, when i think i get a role of a chartered accountant <laughs> so that just to get into into the character but nothing else can make me do that it was too hard but do you remember the first audition you ever gave so i had no clue where auditions happen so i had some theater friends and one of them was going to audition for this ad it was a, a phone ad and i had no clue uh, where to look in the camera so i did it like a theater how i would do do it uh, in a theater workshop or a theater performance uh, and i was told to uh, get out because they were like you don't know where to look just go learn first and come back again oh. and that really hurt me i was like okay I, and i was i was scared I, you know somebody shouts at you from behind the camera hey kya kar raha hai are kya kar raha hai yahan hai camera wahan kahan dekh raha hai aate hain bada actor banne ye log kahan kahan se i went back home i put my phone i re- i rehearsed the, the whole thing all night came back the next day and uh, i did it and i was shortlisted for that never eventually got the ad but i i got my first ever ad i got shortlisted for which was a big deal in the yes. audition circuit because you usually get shortlisted after 6 to 8 months but but i didn't get my first ad till like one and a half years after that and i just won the bombay times fresh face before that so i thought ki maybe because of you know uh, they really would want to feature me in that so finally i landed my first ad and uh, i was so happy um, and uh, I and this was the TVC. I auditioned for the main guy. There were three guys in that. I auditioned for the main guy. So they called me for the costume trials because I was locked, and it was a 
festival at my home <laughs> and i think i was going to get paid around 10000 and that was a lot so i was very happy my mom has still kept that check she's not uncashed it yet and i realized that i was uh, the third guy i was like standing behind and just clapping and giving expressions i was not the main guy so i stood there i shot for that ad and uh, i didn't tell my parents uh, and till today in fact they don't know that the uh, i told them the ad was scrapped um uh, i because it's there on youtube you can actually go and watch it uh, yeah. but i was i was so embarrassed because my dad really expected a lot and i thought i should not let him down before we talk some more would you like to walk around and tell us a little bit about your house yes how about those cameras i spot here well they are uh, I, so i love cameras and i love colors um so yeah i mean i got them in different kind of colors hmm. <laughs> in stacks see i've got a yellow one yeah i've got you this. like photography yeah i love photography do so, you see this old radio sure us oh wow yeah i love like old stuff yeah nice <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, not the song I was hoping. But I was hoping for some uh, Rafi and Kishore. And yes. I want to also definitely talk about Mr. Supandi there. Yeah, the Supandi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have to know about that, please. Yes, I got it from Comic Con actually. Oh. Yeah, I love Comic Cons and I do visit every year. And right. I love Supandi. So that's Supandi. That's my mom. Oh. And that's my dad. I've got like this thing made, and I keep it here. Uh -huh. So this is uh, our own. Uh, how we have Marvel there? We have yeah. Raj Comics uh, in India. So they usually uh, 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 distribute in the north of India. So my favorite character, Doga, and okay. this is my second favorite, Nagraj. So you must have heard. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I've never seen Doga. Doga is badass. He's like Batman of uh, the Raj universe. Oh. So his superpower is uh, that he can communicate with dogs. How and horrible he, is that? Yeah. He, and my dream is to do uh, the you know to play him in one of the movies. Anurag Kashyap had announced it long back. Right. And I was really excited and I, I don't know why it's not happening. So this is me out there. Please, I want to play Doga. Mr. Kashyap and everyone out there, I hope you are listening to this. Bachpan ka superhero yaar. there are there's like some books uh one of my favorite books um uh, is this mm. this is like a granth for me when i read this book it just felt like uh i don't know anything can you tell us a little bit say, about the first day on the set what did that feel like for you i was very nervous i mean come on you have to uh be on screen with uh, ranveer singh and alia bhat Yeah. and it's zoya akhtar uh, she was one of my favorite directors and every time after my first take i used to go to zoya and be like uh, am i good am i doing fine and she never used to tell me anything she's like yeah okay i remember she was editing the film she was in new york and she uh, dm me that you are so good in the film but that's the first time she actually complimented me ever so that ever since you became an actor yeah. you know can you tell us maybe three or four things that are a part of this career that you didn't think would be i felt if you're doing good work it will speak for you and you don't have to actually think about uh, the pr angle of it so that's something which was a uh, which was an eye opener for me i had no clue how pr is done where to be seen what mm. to wear what events to go who to call to shoot your pictures before you uh, go to an event what to wear at the airport uh, and i still want to not learn it i still try to be who i am and real to myself so that before we talk a little more should we move to those corner there where i can spot some paintings oh my paintings i'm yes please i'm, I'm a okay painter i'm not like i sketch well better okay. than i paint but i can show you some of my paintings yes and, please we'd love to see them yeah. these are my some of my paintings and you can see this uh, upside down it's different oh yes so this is one when uh, did you start painting uh since i was a kid okay. um yeah i used to get always like the second prize in uh, drawing in my school when people ask me what's your idea of a perfect romance this yeah. is my idea of a perfect romance uh this was my wallpaper for the longest time that's uh, such a beautiful one yeah that's like that's my first love kind of a thing where mm. i was too shy how cute <laughs> to kind of 
give her the flowers. Yeah, I was 17. I was a very shy kid. Okay. So yeah, it took me a one and a half years to tell her that I like her. Yeah. Was that received well? I'm sure it was. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she took her time as well, but I obviously could see that she likes me. Yeah. Even though she was hiding it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, she took some time. We were friends for, for a long time and then we started dating. Right. And we dated for around four years after that. Oh. We were doing CA together. Mm. And uh, then I decided I want to be an actor and that didn't actually because she wanted to get married and she wanted to settle down. We wanted different things in life. But yeah, this is... The horse. On to the horse. I know a lot of people might find it funny because much do bhai. But this is my first horse which I told you about. I want to tell you, Tatan is nowhere close to Majnu Bhai's <laughs> but, but Majnu Bhai is very close to my heart. Huh? That's why it just, he's the reference. <laughs> That's my, so when I was shooting for Khoge, one of the uh, days, you know, I just had some time. Huh. That's Imad, that's Ahana, that's Neel, and that's our living room. Yeah. Yeah. I and did it in like 20 minutes. Do you also surf? I see a surfboard That's a, uh, so you know, you... Always uh, pick up that one thing out of your film that you yeah. want to keep with yourself. Yeah. That's from Gehra. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to swim though, but I still right. wanted to surf. Wow. So we went to this Russian shop and we got it on rent. Never gave it back. <laughs> <laughs> if he's watching this, he's going to come after me and kill me. I was just going to say that. Yeah. Siddhan, can you show us your favorite spot in the house? That's my favorite spot. Uh, so usually when I come with my friends, um, you know, when we're chilling, we're jamming. Uh, yeah, we usually sit here and we talk. Um, this spot also is kind of uh, it just makes you talk uh, about deep stuff. I don't know why. Yeah. So I also often sit here and write my poetry. Mm. Um, so yeah, um, this is the spot. I mean, looking at the ocean, I'm sure just deep conversations can happen and beautiful thoughts. Yeah, it's really like, almost like a therapy corner. Yes. So then, you know, your, your line, Ja hamare sapne pure hote hai, became oh. viral, right? Kab pizza chode hai? <laughs> you know, you have a lot of friends from the industry um, along the way that you've made. When you see the challenges they've had compared to yours, the, there is a difference, right? What is it that you view it as? There are so many of my friends who are still kind of trying to get in. Yeah. So I, because I've seen them so closely and their, their struggles so closely, so I think I have more empathy towards uh, my life yes. because I've lived it. Our dreams are full. Behind the struggle starts is as in their struggle is to kind of find acceptance. I mean, yeah. you're just an artist and you don't care where anybody is coming from. But I have slowly kind of started to understand the other side as well. Yeah. So that I was talking about Gully Boy. You of course got so much love for Gully Boy. After that you did a few films which may not have got as much love, right? Yeah. How did you kind of pull yourself out of a phase that may not have been the best? I would like to say it's part of life. Yeah. But I'm too young to understand all of these things. So I did feel a bit low. Um, I almost felt, not for myself, but I felt like I let people down. Because there was so much of love. And there was so much, so much, so many expectations from me that I felt like, shit, I'm not doing, you know, what I should be doing. But honestly, I just chose from whatever I had. Uh, I just chose from, I went for the, for the best opportunity which was thrown yeah. at me. So uh, yeah, I just waited it out. Uh, I just believed in myself and the films which I am going to be doing. So I took that one year break after phone booth. I was not seen a lot uh, I didn't post a lot and a lot of my agents and my team told me that you cannot drop your pace because people will forget you out of sight out of mind I said no they won't I know talent agar hai to aap dikhoge. work wise it was a little tough and it's not like I, I wasn't getting scripts I was getting yeah. a lot of scripts but coming from a, a not so uh, you know a, a hit film to saying no to people is also very difficult because people are like ha, who, who are you to kind of say no but I said no, yeah. I just will not do things just because, you know, it's going on, it's going on, it should feel right. Yeah. See, I told you this is a therapy call. It was so nice, it was so nice. <laughs> yeah. But do you think we should uh, maybe play a fun rapid fire game? Really? Yes. A role you auditioned for and didn't work out but you wish it had? Uh, life of Pi. Mm. Yeah. Okay, your three friends from the industry. Ishan, mm. Ishan Khattar, Adarsh Gaurav, and uh, Arjun, Arjun Varemsal. If you could take one thing or a skill from Ranveer Singh, what mm. would it be? To not give up. <laughs> he doesn't care, he's just himself and 
he's really confident in who he is and yeah and that's really powerful i guess alia bhat i think she's so uh, professional she comes on time she leaves on time uh, she's just chilled and very 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 professional dipika dipika i think because uh, i think her simplicity uh, hmm. as much as she looks so glamorous on screen um she's very simple and she's uh, um she loves simple things you know uh, in life and that's very rare to kind of maintain especially when you're at that stage of life vijay varma vijay varma <laughs> i think he is uh, his uh, caption game is too strong i feel <laughs> he's very witty and his caption game is very strong he's very cool yaar yeah. ananya pande ani i would like to take away uh, she's uh, uh, very mature i feel Hmm. and very sensitive to what people uh, around her think so and that makes her uh, kind of uh, absorb a lot as an actress it's a very good quality because she absorbs a lot last one adarsh kaurav he is constantly seeking life that guy is beyond films that guy is beyond cinema uh, i love him so much i have literally fallen in love with adarsh i'm so intrigued by this guy i really want to play his biopic one day <laughs> This guy is just amazing. Last question before yeah. we go. If you had to pick top 3 moments from your life, yeah. what would they be? When uh, I cleared my IPCC in first attempt both the groups. The second moment would be when I took my uh, family to Assam uh, for the film fair and I won uh, the best supporting actor. Family met everybody and they were very sweet. Varun, Aishman, Ranveer, Alia and you were sitting in the second row because i remember back i think 10 15 years back my dad had got a pass for uh, film fair and uh, we were very excited he had got three passes for me my mom and uh, him and when we entered we realized that we were standing back in the crowd it was not even a pass to like the main uh, event so i had seen film fair from very very far uh, and uh, it was a dream to actually make them uh, you know sit in the first row um their and their son is getting an award so i think that is the second moment third moment would be uh, uh i value my failures more than my success uh, so the films which did not work i think they are the top moments of my life because that's when i get to think about life and that's when i understand that it's not about being successful i spoke to aishman when he called me uh, after kho gaya and we spoke on this and he said that i said to him that bhai i really needed this film to work because I was very low and he said you I'm glad that happened to you at such an early age because uh, and you took that one year break because uh, you might not be able to handle it after a while you know uh, and I'm glad this happened to you and just be happy because now everything is good so, yeah so I think failures so the films which did, did not work are again to fail is my third top moment in my life thank you so much for talking to me sadant and having us in your home so, so the next time Uh, I'm going to show you more of my paintings. Yes. I'm going to take you to my uh, Gorega home yes. where my family stays and I'm going to play the guitar for you for sure. Yes. It's all I'll on camera. It you can't go back on yes. your words. Absolutely. 